Hello, I uh, it is Harosha Shai with another episode of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters, and huzzah! Happy Clue Day. Uh, this clue uh, is uh, the mnemonic key. Uh, the clue itself is called the mnemonic issues, and uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the keys that have been solved, uh, that are being solved, if you will, uh, where we are to say the hunt, and a little, I guess you could say, hiccup with the game mechanics uh, with the recent lease of a clue, but uh, we'll get into all that. So let's start off with where we at in the hunt. Okay, so the Earth key is still unknown. It still hasn't been found. Uh, it's proven to be a very difficult key. It's we're almost approaching. Let's see, it was released 512. So we're getting almost to two months. Come the end of this week of this key not being solved. Uh, the other difficult key, the Abun key, has been solved, but it's not been made public uh, by any of the clans or individuals that may have found it. The zero knowledge key uh, has had one of the keys found. You have all the way to the 15th for the other two keys. Uh, the philanthropic key, the first key from there was rewarded to Toshi Cipher Group. The second key is ongoing until Sunday, so whoever had uh, donated the most to charities will achieve that key. And of course, the distances key, the freedom key, the world key, and now we are at the DLI key and the neurotic key. So the DLI key has six keys. One of those keys has been found, uh, but hasn't been made public. I should say, like, people are not publicly disclosing it because it is kind of public. If you go on the streamer site and go to DLive and watch uh, one of the streamers, he has already revealed the public key in the passphrase. The other ones have been piecemealing it across. Uh, just for an update on that, um, that particular key hunt, um, can game is not streaming tonight, so he will stream tomorrow to release the third part of his QR code. Uh, there's four parts to the QR code, one, two, three, four, and then the passphrase. And throughout the week, uh, streamers have been doing different ways where you can have the different passphrases are broken up to figure out, you know, piece it together to figure out what the passphrase is. And then um, the QR code itself. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. And then we have this release, which is the neurotic key, and it is called the neurotic issues is the clue. So when I first saw this clue, the things that popped into my mind with the sequence of numbers was one, pi, uh, which is why this is show art, um, plankton's constant from Stranger, Stranger Things season three, uh, that plays into it. Clue because I recently just watched that you know the one plus one plus one plus one plus one um, that bit from the from the movie uh, the meme where people are trying to figure out uh, I think it comes from the television show Numbers but you often see the I forget her name but um, I know she's uh, she was on this cop show. Uh, it has like the numbers going across, or you see uh, Zach Ganafis uh, as his hangover character with all these numbers jumping around. That's what I thought. Uh, I believe my understanding is uh, when this key was released this morning, I was up, you know, watching some of the streamers, got into a D Live uh, rabbit hole, uh, had gotten up to see uh, one of the streamers, Flower Driver, is on London time to see. Uh, when she was streaming to try to catch her QR codes, uh, saw that she wasn't streaming at the time, and then I saw that a clue had dropped, tweeted it out, put it on Tumblr, put it on the Instagram, and um, went back to bed. Uh, then I, you know, got up and got for the rest of the day. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. So what you have to do, according to this clue, when this thing dropped, uh, a phrase has been coded and hidden in the numbers below. Decipher the sequence to unlock a key. So I, I guess these numbers indicate some kind of code breaking, if you will. So we have a code breaking uh, key. Uh, I like other uh, particular clues. It actually has the 
the decryption page part of the clue. So basically you have to figure out the passphrase, which is uh, very different from the other code breaking uh, clues in the past. The ASAP, uh, ASAP key, you had to figure out from the code breaking of that, you had to figure out the decryption page, web page, as well as the uh, uh, passphrase from that particular clue hunt. Uh, but there was an issue. I looked up on my phone for this, and if you see the highlighted portion of the numbers here, uh, if you were looking up on your phone, at least uh, my phone, it, it popped up that these were phone numbers, and you can click and highlight it because it highlighted the numbers. And, and I think there's a coding issue with the website itself. Um, as you can see on the web page on the desktop it doesn't have that issue so when I saw that I also thought of phone numbers it's like oh so we had to unscramble and maybe uh, figure out area codes and call somebody there's like a, what, a party line is this a kind of a freaker code code breaking thing or a freaker code you know freakers were the people that used to hack the, the telephone lines back in the day using the like the captain um, crunch whistle device to make noises to get free free phone calls and eventually built these things called blue boxes to do that and then they did other things you know over time to hack and get free phone phone calls um <clears throat> so that wasn't the case i guess that is an issue or a glitch if you will with the game mechanics on this particular uh clue uh it, as of now, I don't think it has been really fixed. I, I think they should fix it just because people could be on their mobile devices and just based on that, if they weren't you know, attached to a Twitter or uh, in the Telegram chat, they might not be aware that th when they're going down different rabbit holes that this is not a phone number sequence or anything like that or these are not phone numbers. Uh, so th there's that. Uh, and I think that's a bit of a game mechanic issue um, when it comes to the coding for the website for both the desktop and mobile to make sure it's consistent I'm not sure you know I I don't know but there's that um, so we have this new key it's called the uh, the clue is a mnemonic issue it's called the mnemonic key you have to basically take these uh, sequences here these sequence of numbers basically uh, code break it figure out what order they're supposed to be in figure out what the code is, get the passphrase uh, to unlock the key. Uh, rumor mill on the telegram streets, if you will, is that this key has been uh, found, but it hasn't been found on the website as of yet, so who knows if it's actually been found. Um, this has happened a few times with these different keys where people think keys have been found, um, but it hasn't switched over, like the earth key or um, the Ubuntu key a couple times. But as of now, it is unknown. So is the DLive key, which runs all the way to Ju July 15th. So we have some um, end dates coming with these keys. The zero knowledge key, that particular contents, contest is July 15th, same day as the DLive key. So you have one, two, and then potentially, you know, a total of uh, eight keys, if you will, expiring July 15th. But with the DLI key, I don't think there's expirations because it's a streaming service. The streamers have replay, playbacks. I don't think they're going to delete those videos, if you will. So there's an opportunity, I would think, um, down the line for anyone who's jumping into the game to find those keys if it, at a later point in time. They come in, can find those keys by watching um, those streamers and piecing the uh, QR codes together if, n if none of those keys have been publicly disclosed uh, or figuring out for themselves, uh, forming their clan. It could be a great clan exercise really because you have six streamers, different times, being able to uh, screen record or uh, print screen and, and get the QR codes and then figuring out which, you know, the space of the QR codes and uh, the passphrase, you know, the sequence to figure out which, you know, the right way is that, that takes a, it's a group effort. Um, and then the zero knowledge key, of course, is something that a lot of developers out there in the world are doing, uh, particularly in the uh, Zcash and Ethereum space, or just developers in general trying to break this code, 
there's two more keys out there uh, the first key has not been publicly available and um, we'll see how things are going and of course there's the philanthropic key that just goes all the way to the end of July so that's the status of the hunt um, feeling pretty good I had suspected that they would in fact dump another key this week which is good we need multiple puzzles going on we need multiple keys up for grabs to kind of get this game if it's going to wrap up in within a year's time um, so there we go I will be doing an uh, end of the week video uh, for the D Live update and any of the updates for any of the other keys that are out there. Uh, what's going on with the game mechanics? Um, if I do post another video, it might be finally that Sprawl trilogy book review or any other clue drops. So, my name is Arosia Scheib. This is Toshi's Treasure Hunters. Happy Clue Day uh, and uh, on with the hunt.